Okay, now let's go into the actual intuitive understanding of merge sort, right? So just like in the case of insertion sort, let's take an example so that we understand the intuition better, right? So let's start here. Imagine I have an array like this, okay? Uh, let's assume my first cell is six, my second cell is five, my third cell is three, my fourth cell is one, my fifth cell is eight, seven, two, and four, okay? Cell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an array. This is my input array, let's call it A, which is of size eight. Now, how does merge sort work? The first thing that merge sort does is, merge sort breaks your array into two parts, okay? Two equal parts or roughly equal parts. Since I have eight elements here, okay? So I'll try to break it into two parts. This is my first part and this is my second part. Okay, I'm dividing or I'm breaking the array into two parts. So I'll create two sub arrays now. Okay, look at this. What I'll do is I'll look at two sub arrays, six, five, three, one. My second sub array would be eight, seven, two, four. Right? So I've broken, I've broken this array into two sub arrays. Right? Again. I have an array of size four here and another array of size four. Now I'll continue breaking this array because I have four, I can divide into two sub arrays. See, I try to break it into sub arrays of same size, right? Here I'll again break it into sub array of size two and size two. Now imagine if this was not eight, but if I had nine elements, right? Because I have eight elements here, I got two sub arrays of size four and four. Imagine instead of an even number here, I had an odd number of elements. Then I would have one array with four elements and an other array with five elements, right? That's good enough, okay? So you want to have these two sub arrays of the same size. Now I further go and break this into two sub arrays. What do I get? I get six and five. I get six and five and three and one. These are my two sub arrays again. I also break this up into two sub arrays and I get eight and seven and two and four. There's still two, two elements. I can still break this further into a single element six and a single element five, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm dividing my array. The, think about this as step by step, right? First, I have an array of size eight. I break it up, I broke it up or divided it into two sub arrays of size four, then sub arrays of size two, arrays of size one, right? I have eight and seven. I have two and four. I've divided everything now, okay? So this is called the divide stage. This whole idea is called the divide stage. This is called the divide stage of my merge sort. Now, now how do I do it? So let me write down. So whatever I have here, I'll just copy paste here, okay? Because I can't go down. So I have these single arrays of size one. I have arrays of size one, six, five. I have three, one, I have eight and seven, and the last two arrays, two and four, two and four. Now what I'll do is, I'll start merging these arrays. So I'll start merging these two arrays. So because I can't, I can't go any further, right? I have arrays of size one here. I can't go any further because I've reached this terminal stage. Now, so this is called the divide stage. The second stage is called the conquer or the merge stage. So this is the conquer or the merge stage. This is called the conquer or the merge stage. Now what happens in this stage? Let's see. So I take these two arrays. Each of them is an array of size one. Now I try to merge them and construct a new array in the sorted order. So I'll have, I'll, I'll do this, right? Look at this, I have an array I have only two elements, right? Literally I have two elements. I'll pick the smaller element and place it here. And I'll pick the larger element and place it here. Similarly, I'll combine both of them because I have only one, one element each. I'll just take the smaller element, place the larger element. Similarly, I'll combine these two and I'll get seven and eight. I'll combine these two and I'll get two and four, right? So. You're going down, see, as you go down in the first divide stage, you're breaking it up. In the conquer stage, as you go down, you're trying to combine or merge these arrays so that finally you have a merged array that is also sorted. 
Now comes the next fun part. Now, I want to merge these two arrays. How do I merge these arrays? These are not single element arrays. This array has two elements and this array also has two elements. Now, how do I merge it? So after I merge it, I need to have an array which is of size four. Now, how do I do it? So let's go step by step. So I'll create a variable called i, which goes from the first element, the second element. I'll create a variable called j here, which goes to the first element and the second element. First, I'll compare. So let's say this array is b and this array is c. Let's just say, let's just say this array is b and this array is c. So I'll compare b i with c j. Okay, so this is b1, this is b2, this is c1 and this is c2. These are two sub arrays, right? These are two arrays of size 2. So I'll compare b i, which is b1, this element, with this element, with c j. Which of them is smaller? Obviously, one is smaller. So whatever is the, whichever is the smaller value amongst these two, I'll take it and place it here. Okay, so one is smaller than 5. So I'll place one here. So one is already used. So I'll increment my j by one. Okay, so now I'll increment my j by one. Okay, so when I increment my j by one, my j will now move to the second element in C. Because this one has already been copied from here and pasted to the final array. Now, now what will I do? So this is done. So this is done. You don't have to worry about it. Next, let's look at it. Next, I'll compare bi. Bi is still with 5. Bi is still 5 with Cj. Cj is no more 1. Cj equals to 3 because j has been incremented. j has been incremented by 1. So what is your Cj? Your Cj is 3. So I'll compare 3 with 5. Which of them is a smaller value? 3. So I'll place the 3 here. Sorry, I'll place the 3 here. So 3 is also taken care of. Now my j cannot go any further because I've reached the end of the array. End of this smaller array. This, this is an array of size 2. So I've exhausted all the elements. So I don't have anything else to compare. So I compare this 5, okay, with, okay, with nothing. So one, one hack that we often do here is, since I don't have any element, I'll just place a hypothetical element called infinity here. Okay, so my j would be incremented here. I would place an extremely large number here, an infinity, let's say. Right. So now, now my J, actually my array is only of size 2, but I added a new element here at the end. I'll increment my J now. Right. So my J now will move from, my J will move from here to here. My CJ is infinity, which is going to be greater than every other number. Now when I compare BI with CJ, your BI will always be less than CJ because CJ is infinity. Right. So the 5 will be placed here. Sorry, the 5 will be placed here and my i would get incremented, my i will now move here, right? Now my bi is c, so this is already taken care of. My bi is equal to 6. The 6 is now compared with cj, which is infinity, right? So obviously, 6 is going to be less. So let's copy the 6 and paste it here. Infinity, you don't anyway, you just added this for the comparison purpose, right? You can just ignore this, right? So what do I have? Now, if you look at it, if you look at this, I have, so let me just erase this and write down this arrays clearly. Okay, so let's write down. So what did I have here? I have five and six here. Sorry, I had, I had five and, sorry, let me just erase this. So I had five and six here, and I had one and three. Using the simple scheme that I just explained to you, we combined these arrays. We combined these arrays to get a new sorted array of size four. Similar strategy I'll employ here also. I'll have I here. I will have J here. I'll place uh, infinity here. I'll place an infinity here at the end. Right? And this will be my array B. This will be my array C. Right? I'll compare AI, sorry, BI with CJ. And I'll keep incrementing. So eventually, what do I get here? Whatever strategy we saw here, the same thing will occur here. Now, what do I get here? I get 2, 4, 7, 8. Now we need to, so we have two arrays now. Let's call these arrays again B and C. This is array B, this is array C. Array B, first element, second element, third element, fourth element. First element, second element, third element, fourth element. Now we want to combine both of them to build my large eight 
my array of size 8 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now again i'll repeat the same step that we saw here so that it's clearer for you okay so first thing what do we do we add a we add a new element called infinity just for our programming simplicity okay we do not we are just adding it so that if we if you exhaust one array you have the element to compare with then i initialize this i with the first element my j is here first let's compare let's compare your bi with cj which is smaller this is smaller so your one comes here so your one is taken care of now your i gets incremented your i is no more here your i is now here now you compare bi with cj which is smaller your 2 is smaller than 3 so you copy your 2 here you you don't worry about this you increment your j so your j comes here now right now you compare your bi which is 3 you compare your bi with cj which is smaller your bi is smaller right so you copy your bi which is 3 here this is done and you increment your i your i is no more here your i is here now right again you compare your bi with cj which is smaller your cj is smaller right your cj value 4 is copied here your j is incremented to here now you compare your bi with cj your bi is 5 your cj is 7 which of them is smaller 5 so you paste you copy this 5 here and you increment your i your i is now here now you compare your bi with cj which is smaller 6 is smaller copy your 6 your i is now incremented right now compare your bi which is infinity which is going to be larger than every other number you increment your bi so you compare bi with cj obviously this 7 is going to be smaller so you copy your 7 here and you increment your j now you compare your bi which is infinity to cj right obviously your 8 will come here right your j is now incremented to infinity now your bi and cj both are infinity so you terminate this loop that's it you have the final array now right so this is how merge sort works right this adding of the infinity is just a hack to make our life simple that's it otherwise again i'll show you some pseudo code Again, there are ways of not adding this infinity and still making the algorithm work. Okay, but this is something which is an interesting and neat hack to make everything work. But the most important lesson here, the most, the most important lesson here is you have gone from a big array, you've broken it up or you've divided it, you've divided the big array into arrays of size one and then you started conquering this or you started merging them right you started merging them and saying i have two arrays of size one each now i combine them to form a single array of size two later on i have two arrays of size two i'll try to combine them to get an array of size four finally i have arrays of size two arrays of size four which i combine to get my final sorted array this is the intuition behind your merge sort so you have two stages you have the divide stage and you have the conquer or merge stage so these algorithms, so here, what have you done? You have taken a big problem. We have broken up into very small problems, right? And then you combined or you conquered or you merged these solutions of smaller problems to solve the larger problem. This whole idea is called the divide and conquer strategy. This is called the divide and conquer strategy in data structures and algorithms. Right? That's what we have done. We have divided a big array into smaller arrays and then we have merged or conquered these as we went. Of course, there are a lot of analysis. So first, before we go into analysis, let's see some pseudo code in the next video. This example is very simple, very easy to understand. And again, I've taken this example from Wikipedia. So if, you, if I just refresh this page, if I just refresh this page here, you'll get a very nice, let me just refresh it. Okay, so the, here is the example of merge sort, right? So you're, bre you're breaking it up, you're breaking it up, breaking it up into size two, breaking it up into size one, 
these are broken up into size one size one this is a very nice animation i'm taking it from the merch sort page on wikipedia again now i combine both of them now again i com compare both of them one comes here three comes here i combine both of them again i combine both of them so this is an animation of what we have seen here okay what i've written as step by step here this is an animation behind it right now i now i try to combine both of them so i compare this element with one one is here now i compare these two now this now only one left is six right similarly now i try to combine them i compare seven and two two comes here four four comes here seven comes here eight comes here right now again i try to merge this arrays of size four i compare one and two one comes here right two and three two comes here three and four three comes here right four and five four comes here then five and seven are compared five comes here now six and seven are compared six comes here seven and then eight right so this is a very nice animation of exactly what we have seen right what we have seen here what i have drawn here is step by step on wikipedia the same thing there is a very nice animation for you to understand it better okay so now given that we have some intuitive understanding of the divide and conquer strategy of merge sort and the name merge sort comes because we are merging we are merging smaller arrays to construct larger arrays okay so we are merging these smaller arrays to, const to finally solve this problem i'm merging these smaller arrays to construct larger arrays which are sorted that's why the name merge sort okay we'll see some pseudo code in the next video and understand how to actually implement this in code that's the fun part